Welcome back, everyone. This week we're in a new town. We're in Den Bosch, or... Hertzegenbosch? Hertzegenbosch. Tell us how to tell you it in the, the, the comments down below, <laughs> because uh, it's definitely one of the more confusing names for cities that we've seen here. It's like the S apostrophe. The apostrophe S, all of that type of stuff. But we're going to be exploring around, seeing what's new about this town that we've never been to before. Yeah, and you all have told us to come here, so we're checking another one off the list. Yeah, definitely. And... This is a really, really pretty uh, fountain right behind us. Yeah, there's like a golden dragon at the top of it, which is really neat. Um, and what's really special about this city and is near and dear to my heart is um, one of the artists that is from here, Hieronymus Bosch. Um, one of his paintings is called The Garden of Earthly Delights. And we'll see if we can grab a screenshot of that to bring up here. Yeah. But um, it's obviously that painting is not here. It's actually in Madrid. But it's cool because a lot of the styles um, of his artwork you'll see like elements all over uh, the city so i'm really excited to explore that i think we've got a lot planned today we're going to do uh some of the things recommended by you all and some things that we found on our own but first we got to get us some coffee so we're headed to the coffee lab which is right by the central station so let's go let's check it out Talk about efficient. Mm -hmm. they, Those. they have a system down. <laughs> um, so they have an entire case of just the possibles, and then they have a variety of other pastries. It was very hard to choose, but we went with an art by tart and one of the possibles. Again, I feel like this is a Tom Poo situation where I'm not sure where to eat, like how to eat it. And but we got plenty of napkins, so I, I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna go in for the kill again. Go for it. Oh, she's, she's dense. <laughs> yeah, that good? Mm -hmm. All right, give me a bite. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're in town and you want to get something sweet, I'd say definitely get one of these boss balls because they're really good. The thing we're gonna go do next is probably the thing I'm most excited about for Den Bosch. We're gonna be going underneath parts of the city through by this- boat. By boat. <laughs> yeah, through this old canal system that's like really underneath a lot of the old important buildings. But only 30% of it is still remaining from, I guess, previous years. Yeah. So that's kind of wild. Yeah. But I mean, a canal boat tour where you go under buildings and that sounds pretty pretty cool yeah so. it's supposed to be like really really low so we'll check that out yeah let's go as you can see we picked the best time of day to go on a boat cruise this morning it was raining a lot but thankfully the boat captain that was with us had ponchos for everyone and we were able to get a little bit of a reprieve from the rain <laughs> the tour was really really interesting it was really cool going in because we got to see a whole bunch of parts of the city that we never would have seen had we been walking on the streets through the whole time yeah and it was really neat to um see some of the things like the bat sanctuaries that they have that are in the shape of bats underneath there's a whole bunch of really cool little animals and little things that they've turned into little statues that go under here that look really really interesting but I, I think it was also really cool because as you're going through there's a lot of little things along the way unfortunately the tour is in dutch but we were able to understand about 40 percent of it and they do give you a pamphlet that really helps you out as you're going through everything
that lunch you just saw was from this really cool place called Hello My Friend. Hello My Friend. Hello My Friend dot bar was their website. And yeah. it's really it's a really cool place. Uh, the really tasty food. You had the Bulgogi sandwich. Which I had a one with pork belly and she totally out ordered me. And then I had a ginger agave margarita, which was so tasty. I had a really tasty pina colada. There was actually they had this bucket that was just full of hot sauces. The um, one of the waitresses said it, they call it their bucket of regret. <laughs> yeah, which could be true. They had a da bomb in there, which is one of the hottest hot sauces in the world. Yeah, um, and they actually had a hot sauce from Houston, which is really cool. Yeah, so, that's really neat. Nice little taste of. Uh, Old good, home. <laughs> yeah, the, the food was all really good. If you're there, I highly recommend checking it out. It's just bright, fun, super, super cute space. Yeah, absolutely. I think next we're going to go check out one of the big churches here. Mm hmm. Yeah, and we're going to try to do it and escape the rain. Yeah, it's, it's a little rainy today, but we'll go check it out. All right, let's go. So Tracy, you said this building behind us is kind of important? Yes. So this is the Morion, I believe it's called. Uh, it dates back to the 13th century, and it's considered to be the oldest brick building in the Netherlands. That's cool. And some of the components are from the 1300s, like the roof or the beams. Um, and now it's a visitor center that you can visit, and it's right on the marked square. It's crazy to think that this building has been here in some form or another longer than Europeans have really known about America. Yeah. Um, really, really neat. That's so cool. <laughs> On to the church. So one of the examples of Brabant Gothic architecture is right behind us, and that's St. Jan's Kirk. Yeah. Um, it is a church that dates back to the 1200s, and I was reading that it was completed in 1340, but it's gone through a bunch of iteration since then but it's primarily like gothic looking architecture that's super ornate on the outside and it's a catholic church um out here hmm. it's dedicated to saint john the baptist or i'm sorry saint john the evangelist mm. so yeah it, it looks really cool uh let's go in and check and see what it is i hear that there's some more modern takes on uh on things here in this building so the thing to look out for is Apparently there's a statue of an angel who's wearing jeans and has a mobile phone. And the mobile phone has one button, and that's to God. If that isn't, you know, millennial culture right there. <laughs> Let's try to find this angel. Let's check it out. <laughs> right there making her call to God. <laughs> In jeans no less. gonna wrap us up on Den Bosch. Yeah, cool city. very cool. Um, I can't wait to come back. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's impossible for me to find a city that I'm not head over heels in love with uh, in this country. <laughs> yeah, she really liked all the little stores that had the little kitschy things. It was really cute. Lots of little shops, lots of art, lots of of history and we had an amazing lunch so that didn't hurt either i mean that boat cruise was phenomenal mm -hmm. i know that there's some stuff we missed the bosch art center and then i believe there's two museums that are on the museum cart that we did not get to today but it felt really nice to just kind of wander around and kind of get lost in the city yeah i uh i really liked how 
how many different little spots there were all along the city to be able to check out different stuff. Yeah, super neat. Um, I loved being able to go underneath the city first and then as you're walking around, kind of see where we were underneath. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. If you have to come, I say probably the biggest thing is do the boat ride. That was the coolest thing we've done in a while. Get the chocolate bowl. Which, oh, fair enough. But uh, yeah, I mean, the church was super beautiful. I'm, I could go on. We probably could have spent an entire weekend exploring. And it makes sense because this is actually the, the capital of this state here, this area. The, um, of Nord Brabant. Yes. Yeah. Um, so there, there is a lot to do. Um, Tell us what we missed in the comments. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your favorite gems here or where should we go next? Right. We came here because so many people told us that we had to come here and it was a great place to check out. And totally right. Totally right. So let us know down in the comments where we should go next. And I hear there's an amazing jazz festival here in the summer and Carnival is supposed to be pretty great here too. So we mm -hmm. may have to brave that. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.